Hey golfers, it's Larry Bobka here at Second Swing Minnetonka. I'm here with a dear old friend, Rocco old, Meade. Old, old is good. Old is good. Old friend. We, I, I figured out 26 years we've been working together. At least, the old it, DCI days. Yes, the yep. old DCI days. I still have those, by the way. They look good to me, too. So. You can bring them out. Like, yeah, they, I don't know if the grooves are legal anymore, right? No, they're not. Yeah, see, there no, you go. No, they're not. Uh, so we're going to work a little bit here on Rocco's putting. We've got him on Quintech. Rocco and I have worked on pass and Quintech when I was at Argolf, and you played yeah, yeah. Argolf for yep, a little while. Yep, yep. So he's working on some different putter styles with some of his sick putters. You putted short. Mm -hmm. You're now trying I'm a tinkering long. You're yes. tinkering long arm lock, and we're just going to make sure that he's got the right loft so that when he goes out to play golf, he knows that. If you hit a bad putt, maybe it's you. Maybe it is me, yeah. Maybe it's, it's usually you. the archer, right? Uh, it's kind of not the arrow all the time. But, you know, especially in these styles, you know, you know, and what you found out is, especially in the setup position, it's really different. So you really need to have the right loft, and we know. Right, and I have no idea yet. <laughs> yeah, and, and in past videos that we've done, you've, you've seen the importance of the loft on a putter. So we're going to kind of put this to use with, with a uh, player who can actually repeat his stroke time after time after occasionally, time. Occasionally, occasionally. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we're just, <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. So I'm, I'm, let's, let's hit, go. Let's hit some pop. That's really coming off nice. It, it feels obnoxiously good. A little bit more on that one. Interesting. A okay. little bit more on that one. Well, I got a little theory. I got a little theory on that because that one looked a little different to me. Okay. That looked the shade off the toe. Oh. And if it's just like it's just like a driver, if I hit it off the toe, what's it going to do? It's going to create side mm -hmm. spin. So what I would do is just start it a little bit closer to the shaft. So be a little bit inside the line. Yeah. Okay. So one second here. That's what I get. Now you go ahead and hit it, and let's see what we get. So start it just inside the line. So here. Yep. Looks forward enough. Yep. Okay. Okay. Kind of got the same thing. Launch is better though, isn't Launch it? Launch is better. Overspin's great. We're just a little bit, we're a little bit inside. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to try to put a little cut spin on a pot. All right. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Mm -hmm. You just, you just, you just try to, you just try to do it. Right. Give me a second. Go ahead. And I am ready. Go ahead. So give me, give me a little cut spin. Ooh, sliced it. <laughs> No, you didn't. You put zero on it. Zero. Let's do that again. Zero. S yes. So let's try that one more time. You think it's cut. You think it's cut spin. But think about it. The style you've been putting short for a while now. Oh yeah. Okay. So the putter's been kind of working inside. You know, I know you were in here a week or so ago, and the numbers were even higher than. Oh, yeah. What we had earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do me a favor, hit me another one and feel like you're going to cut it a little bit. That was interesting. That was interesting. I felt like I sliced it a little. Let's see if I did. That's absolute perfection. What? Isn't that? Because I think mine, I do this a lot. It goes, it goes, I'm exaggerating. Yeah, you I feel do. Like it goes. You do. I do. So I know I do. So when you're home practicing this winter, downstairs in the basement, <laughs> practice cutting across it. Okay. Do you putt with a line on the ball? No. Okay. Well, I mean, every time I putt with a line on the ball, it always looks like it's aiming left. I'm going to give. I'm going to give you this to take home. All right. Because this is going to be. This is going to tell you whether you're going to putt good or bad. So. You now go ahead and give me that slicey putt that you just hit that felt a little bit weird to you. All right. That rolls really, really good. 
you've just gotten in a hat you've just gotten in the habit because of putting with the shorter putter and being a little bit more over the putter's just been working inside way inside. you know well it's one of it's one of my favorite terms in golf we got a little scar tissue to break oh yeah trust me i knew go ahead and set yourself up so you don't let that putter cross over that cross over that alignment stick so you got to feel like the heel of the putter stays the same distance away. Two, two, two. Oh. There, there's your practice. There's your practice routine. So when you're down in when you're down in the basement, put the alignment stick down there and just work it. Now, if I'm hitting a thirty footer, it's going to cross over because it has to. It has because to have an arc to it. Yeah. It's got to have an arc to it. But from eight feet and in, you gotta feel like there's no arc. So setup wise, what feels, compared to the short one, what feels different? Well, I'm way up here. You're way up there. And obviously I got shaft lane. Okay. Short one, I never had any shaft lane. Could you open your stance just yeah, a that's one thing for I, me? Yeah, that's one thing I do. I look like that a lot. Yep. You know, that's what I do with everything else. Yeah, but so I, I let's totally try to be a little open and there. feel it now. Now you can feel like you can take it on your body line. That felt phenomenal actually right there. I don't know what the numbers are gonna be, I'm afraid. Ah, nice. Yeah, so the, well, those the loft, are, there's, the lo there's your launch too, right? There's our launch, there's everything we want. So I think it's you. I mean, I'm, I'm like this, it's gonna follow my toes for sure. Right. I mean, there's no question about so it. So let's get, let's get a little open at address and feel like we're pushing the ball down the line instead of your normal shot, which is hooking the ball. So, set up good, slightly open. Feel like the putter, feel like the putter's coming a little bit out. Hmm, let's see what that one did. There we go, perfect. Wow, perfect, absolutely perfect. So it launches perfectly. You got tons of, I mean, if you take a look at this, I mean, this is like, this is like a steamroller running down the street. That's gonna roll over everything. Spall marks, thumbtacks, thumbtacks, anything, it's running. But that's pretty cool right there, what that is. So that's virtually perfect, the axis, because every golf ball is gonna, every golf ball is gonna go to true roll. But if it starts like this, it's gonna take its time and its energy to get to true roll. That's virtually true roll coming off the putter. If it's true roll coming off the putter, you're gonna hit your line, your speed's gonna be good, you're gonna make putts. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Yeah, that's like, I, I totally agree with that. And they're going by accident, for that matter. I'll show you, I'll show you something even crazier. You go ahead and set yourself up. You run this along my shaft line. Right. <laughs> that feels off the earth outside. Yeah. That's only two cut. Wow. So that's how much the putter for you has gotten in here. Holy moly. Yep. That's only, that's only two cut. But that's also where the face balance style is going to help you. Okay. Because you're kind of trying to hold the face off now. I'd rather have you have a putter that you don't have to hold the face off. It's interesting. Nick Price told me one time. He said, do you know, he goes, Bad putters putt with the toe of the putter. Good putters putt with the heel of the putter. Uh -huh. They feel like they control the heel of the putter, not the toe. So you being a little bit inside and being closed, you've been putting with the toe. Totally. Now you're putting, now you're putting with the face or you're putting with the heel. You're controlling the heel of the putter going this way. Felt pretty good. Yeah, looked good. Looked very good. 
and there it is. So we know what to do now. Yeah, the numbers keep hitting good numbers in the yeah, bad the one. Numbers 14 hitting, was the numbers lovely. keep hitting good numbers. Rocco, thanks for coming in. As always, my friend. I love it. And I learned. I mean, I knew it was crap. I mean, obviously, my, my numbers have been telling me it's crap. Right. So, but now I know why it was and, and why my, my putter gets to go. It, it moves a lot. It moved in and around a well, lot. And, and I knew it. I just didn't know really how to quit it. Yeah, and you understand better what you, what you need to do. Our numbers have gotten dramatically better through the session. Unbelievable. But I Work it, on it. Play some golf down in Florida. We'll see you next week, and we'll see how it is. We'll be there. We'll do it again.